chicken, rice, what they say is salad, watita, which is potatoes and tripe, which is stomach lining, uh, soup I've about finished off. And flowered water. <laughs> In this video, we're going to talk about a forgotten street. This is Grand Columbia. Uh, I'm standing right now outside of Delgado Travel, which is a ripoff money changer. Um, I say that because they took the going rate and added 30% to it. <clears throat> but on this street, it's been closed down for several years and a lot of places closed up and went out of business because of this future location of the Tramvia. But the construction is done on this street and now there are a lot of changes. Now it's been raining for the past week and I've been wanting to come down here but in the rain uh, I wasn't going to do any kind of video work. So here it is Sunday, a beautiful day, and of course everything is closed up. So I'll probably try, if we have nice weather, I'll come back tomorrow to show you what it looks like. But in the meantime, I'm going to stroll down here and uh, take some video shots of the street. Well, here's something interesting. The Institute of Confucius, the China University of Petroleum, University of San Francisco. Very interesting. Right here on Grand Columbia. On this street corner, you've got the IESS, the main building. I should mention this crossroad is Hermano Miguel. And then uh, you've got a Western Union over there. And then of course, Grand Columbia. Now this is one block north of Parque Calderon. Got here Hotel Presidente. Nice looking place. Say whiskey. You have here the Hotel Conquistador, another nice looking place. It's kind of a mini mall. A lot of little stores inside here. This roads of Grand Colombia and Presidente Borrero. And right there you'll see the post office. The only one in town. And here, right up the street from the post office, you've got Juan El Huri and La Victoria. And between those two, you're going to find pretty much any sort of electronics, musical instruments, washer dryers, even motorcycles. Um, very well known uh, stores. Uh, that guy, the owner of that, it's okay. The owner of that store was arrested on charges a few months back for uh, corruption, but he's been cleared. There you've got Suzuki, a uh, whole bunch of, whole bunch of uh, retail outlets. Across the street from that is Tia, which means ant, or an endearing term, and it's a um, grocery store. And across the street from uh, La Victoria is España, which is a store similar to the Juan El Huri. You've got furniture and TVs and mot motos, motorcycles, washer and dryers, um, all kinds of appliances. Moving east on the street, we've got the El Dorado Hotel. Another very nice looking place. And this is one of the most glamorous restaurants I have seen uh, anywhere around El Centro. It's called Goda Restaurant and Bar. 
and uh, I don't know if you can see in the window probably not but um, when I return I'll see if I can get some pictures of it it's a very nice looking place uh, pretty big Twenty-four month credit at Electro Ofertas, and it's yet another appliance store. And down there, Yahair, another appliance store. And look at this, you got this building, skip one, go down to another, TVs, motorcycles, same company. Here's the crossroad of Louis Cordero, Bank del Ostro, very good bank. Um, and right down there one block is Parque Calderon. Up here we got some kind of music going on, so maybe we'll check that out. It happens to be Palm Sunday, and they just stopped playing music when, when I arrived. But there's some sort of uh, procession going on. And I'm not sure why they have Jesus with a cross up there, since that doesn't happen for another week from Palm Sunday. But it uh, looks like you also have one with a crown of thorns riding his donkey. So I guess we can take some liberties with history. It's all good. Oh yeah, this is Erica and her two daughters. You know you could.